Hello you fellow engineers and welcome back. Very exciting stuff. We are on the final level of Polybridge. Don't leave me. Uh, well, not really, because they added this level, but just ignore that. So this video is sponsored by Swagbucks. Swagbucks is a great way to earn extra cash and gift cards from top stores such as Amazon, Walmart, or if you're British, Tesco. So you earn rewards online from watching videos, taking research surveys, shopping online, getting cash back, or even playing video games. So it's one of those things you probably just want to have like running in the background and then you can just earn while you're doing your normal daily internet stuff. And even better, if you click on my link in the description, you get an extra $5 bonus when you take your first survey. Of course I've done it and my bonus $5 is going on an Amazon gift card. It's free money. And also I've just made a nice little, nice little bridge with their, with their name in. <laughs> so thank you very much to Swagbucks for sponsoring. Right, so this is the level. So it looks like we've got 60 grand, we got some stuff going on. It looks like we have this truck with two vehicles on the back. So that could be interesting. Cool, and they both absolutely cane at 12 meters a second. This could be fun. I'm liking the look of this. Right, so we'll just build a quick structure just to see how stuff works. Right, so we've got simple sort of trussy thing going on. There you go, it's in steel. So lorry goes across. Oh, and it stops on the bridge. Well, that submarine goes down, which isn't causing an issue to anyone. <laughs> Bit pointless. Uh, so how do these cars work? Oh, they literally just drive straight off. Wow, okay, and he's gone. So he's got to get up there to see. Okay, so I think we need to put in some sort of jump, I guess. So what I'll do, I'll do a muscle from down here, like that. I'm gonna make all these wood for now, because I think going with steel straight off was a bit a bit expensive. We can do better. I like to be somewhere up the budget to start with. Copy that over there. Sorted. Right, so because that point is gonna be the pivot point, I'll get rid of that bar above. And then if I come over here and put a hydraulic in, up to there, I think. Expand that and make that a joint. Right, let's see how this works then. So I'm hoping that will just work. <laughs> So the bridge holds itself, even though it's wood now. That's raising up nicely. Question is, will the car make it up? And will the bridge collapse? Oh, bollocks. Okay, it might be because I got rid of that gap. So I might just quickly... Just a little tester. Just strengthen everything up. Right, so now we've got to truss the whole way through. That's raising up again nicely. We'll just check the stress. Oh, it's quite stress there. Oh, but it survived. Are we going to make the jump? Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Right, so I think I need to try and raise this a bit higher. I'm wondering, actually, maybe I could try this. If I put another hydraulic in there, I'll just raise it very slightly. 10%, I think. Actually, I'll put it, I'll put it on the end one. Yeah, so that should raise by 10. I'm on plus 15 expansion there. Oh, bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, not expansion. We want contraction, obviously, because then it'll go up. Right, so this time as it raises, there you go. Can you see it tilts up very slightly? So now that should make it up there. Let's just have a have a little look. Ah, oh, balls. Okay, so as that piece broke, I'm going to put a hydraulic in because it will be strong. Well, as strong as steel, if not a bit stronger. And make that contract massively and then in the hydraulic controller I'm only going to make that go in the second phase so if I do that that should should create the kind of next step up for the uh, for the buggy so keep an eye on that piece on the second phase assuming it doesn't break right now excellent so we made that oh so now we're a bit steep <laughs> uh, yeah yep good see that one Coming. So we'll contract that a little bit less, I think. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. It might still be a bit bollocks. Oh, front wheel. Whoa, he drove straight over him. Where's he going? And a little backwards roll. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that broke. I'll just replace that with steel. All right, come on. We've got to make it this time. Ready? Oh, bollocks. Oi, oi, what's going on over here? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm glad that that bit of wood is in the way. <laughs> bit of wood. I did not mean that innuendo. Right, so hopefully now I've added that bit of... Oh, bollocks, not again. Right, so I've strengthened everything up. 
And there we go, we made it. Endo to finish. Yay, we completed the Sangreen Gulch. Excellent. And we are under budget and I'm breaking the whole thing. Ooh, and top 10%. Not bad for a first little go. Alright, so we'll just watch this with the stress on and we'll try and see where we can make changes. I'm gonna guess we can probably lower the trusses a bit, especially at the ends. And swap that with a muscle. Actually, rather than a muscle, I think I'll just try Let's see if that works for now, does it? Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, okay, that bit might need to be steel, I think. Oh, I think the car might break everything. No, that was fine. Excellent. Okay. So let's lower some of these without the grid on. Just save some money. Right, so I've got rid of the middle bit there. This kind of nice little arch thing going on. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> but I think if I just tweak this a bit, I think the arch is the way to go. See, it's all bright red around the top. I'm just worried. Yeah, that bit of road keeps going. I'm gonna put some reinforced in there. All right, let's try a spring down there, actually. I just think with a bit of movement, it might work. It seems to hold... Oh, maybe not. All right, all I can think then is we need to truss this across. So it's all one piece and there's no gap. We'll try with a little gap first, but I'm guessing I'm gonna have to connect those two. So I think basically as the force comes down there, I should be able to split the force between the two. Yes, yeah, so if you look at the force along this arch shape now, it's it's a lot less red. The red's still down there. Ooh, but it holds. So let's just see... Ah, oh, bollocks. I wonder if we can get rid of this muscle and try and replace it with some wood. Might be a bit of a crazy structure, but... Ah, oh, so annoyingly they just don't reach. So I'm gonna have to put an extra node in the middle. Which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's see if that holds it. Excellent. Okay, let's see if we can shrink this a bit. Save some money. Yeah, so I think that's a lot better price-wise. Let's just see, does it still hold? Good stuff. Now, does this still break? Yes, it does. Okay. Right, so let's try the whole thing again then. So that got up fine. Will this stop breaking? Nope, still breaks. Oh. <laughs> Behave, you two. Why must you always do this? You're gonna make little cars everywhere. Right, I think it was just that bit of steel needed to be in. So did that change anything? Come on, yes, didn't break. Endo to finish, 28.8. Oh, top 4%, look at that. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. We won't bother going any lower, but let's have a look in the gallery. Ooh, a lot going on. I think we should sort by budget. Let's just see what the cheapest solutions were first. So this one is the cheapest, 9,000. You can't see it. Oh, what is going on there? Wow, okay, that was quite cool. But no, that was just cheating. That was some sort of falling road or spring cannon or something. Dirty cheat. Ignore how impressed I was to begin with. Right, so these other ones. So that's actually quite similar to mine. I got no muscle down there. It's only as supported from the shorter nodes. But that's exactly how mine works. Wow, okay. And again, this one. <laughs> Heavy balls. Oh, and this got the single, it's got the arch. The arch that I gave up on. So that was the way to do it then. Okay, pretty pleased with that. I think it proves I'm actually learning how to polybridge. Let's go, let's go have a look at the last page, 43, and see the most expensive ones. Wow, okay. 1.3 million. Let's see what that gets you. What? <laughs> it looked completely normal. Yeah? Let's watch that again. No, that is just completely normal replay. I'm guessing there must be a shitload going on outside the screen that we just can't see. How random. <laughs> 1.3. Okay, so the next one is 285. Whoa, there's a lot going on there. Look at all the steel. Look at all those hydraulics. So how does this one work? So a little... Oh, so minimal movement with all those hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> look, there's stuff going on under the sea and everything. Let's have a look at this. So we got loads of cables and wires. Quite intrigued to see how this works. Okay, so it pulls that up. Nice little simple solution. How do we get up to the next one? Ah, oh, so another cable pulls it a little bit higher. 
Excellent, that's really cool. Proper over-engineered, especially for the lack of movement in that design. But I like it. Alright, so we'll just see how this one works. It seems to have a sort of a ramp. Oh, no, but it comes off quite slow, just drives up slowly. Okay, and then this next one, how does that... Oh, the ramp gets bigger. And then it does a jump, I guess, does it? Excellent. Ooh, although it does break. That was quite cool. Expensive, but cool. Right, so that is it. We have completed the game. Well, I would be saying that if I were able to complete these levels at a reasonable pace. Because <laughs> so unfortunately, well, I say unfortunately, it's quite good, really. There's a new world, Serenity Valley. I've heard that this is meant to be super hard. So I'm wondering, do I do this? Because we've got all these levels to do, but I've also got all the challenge mode levels for all the other ones. Oh, I really don't know what to do. I tell you what, I might continue with Serenity Valley World 5. And I'm considering, don't hold me to this, but I'm considering doing Twitch for the challenge mode. Maybe I won't make YouTube videos just because it will take too long. Like it will be, Polybridge 3 will come out by the time I've completed challenge mode. But if I were to stream it, I don't know, would you guys be interested in that? Let me know in the comments below if, if you'd be interested in watching a stream. Anyway, we're going to get on with this. So this level is called Brake Pad. So let's see how this one works. Okay, we've got a big ass lorry. I've got to get down there. Does he go fast or anything? No, just normal speed. Okay, interesting. There's a stop sign down there. I'm not too sure. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think you go down. Then you've got to hit the... Yes, yeah, so you've got to hit the stop sign and then try and get back to the flag. Brake pad. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's build a quick road down to there. We will fill that in quickly. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with wood. Try and do this cheap right off the bat. And I'm gonna try and trust the hell out of this. I'm gonna do like a double arch type thing, but it's just gonna be full of trust. Will this bridge hold the truck? Will it hold the truck? I don't know. Right, so I think we're there. Just fill in that last little piece. There we go. I think this might break. I'll do a little wall base. But I think we're going to have to add some steel. But we'll, we'll just see for now. I'll try a little brace up there as well. There we go. We'll just see how that works. Oh, yes. Yeah, very stressed already. I think if we just do steel around those. Yeah. All right. So I've added steel around the edge. Let's see. Is that any better? Oh, it's making it. It's making it. It's making it. Oh, no. We fell. Okay, I think just make this a little bit taller just so it's a bit stronger. All right. Let's see if we can get down there now. Oh yeah, it's looking all right. Oh, we've made it, we've made it! And we just went straight into the water. <laughs> okay, so now we need to think of a way to actually stop this. Because we've got to hit the flag after the thing. I'm wondering actually, I could do a ramp up like that and try and make it loop on itself. Yeah, let's give that a go. All right, so we'll try something just a bit like that for now. I'm going to guess it's just going to get annihilated. Because there's going to be a lot, a lot of power down here. Ready? Boosh! <laughs> Straight through. Okay, maybe the ramp isn't the best idea. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try stopping it and do some reinforced road. Get rid of that one. Let's try some springs. So I reckon, like that. Another one there. A third one. Just put some wood between them. Okay, so it holds there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know. Actually, I have no idea. Oh, it stopped it! And it sent him back a bit. I think we just need to move it across. We're a bit... We stopped a bit too early. Ah, but we can't rest on the deck. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to move this down by one. 
And then try and support it with some springs. Does that hold? Ooh, not really. What about another one up to there? Ooh, okay, that nearly holds. And that is right on the stop sign. Ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's gonna hit it, it's gonna hit it. Oh, I didn't hit it. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Stop, you're going the wrong way. Damn it, what if I stretch? Right, so this is with that bottom spring stretched. Boing. Oh, didn't go back far enough. I'll tell you what, what if we put a bit of a roof over it? Then we can add a few more springs as well. Okay, so that's holding the shape. Let's just see, does it spring it back at all? Stop dead. I'll tell you what, I'll put these down the outside. Let's see how this works. Come on. Come on. Boing. Oh, I went back. Yes, we completed it. Solution has brakes. Oh, no, because the spring broke. And we're not on the leaderboard. Ah, top 11. With brakes, though. Tell you what, I'm thinking, actually, if I get rid of that, why don't I put the springs on this side? That kind of makes sense to me. I do like a spring muscle here. With a bit of wood in the middle. All right, so this one's literally just going to be trial and error. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. But boing. Oh, that was good, but we broke. What if I get rid of that piece? Oh, it all falls down. That is annoying. Oh, what if I do up there? Yeah, that should be fine, shouldn't it? Yes. Okay, this could be a bit better. Ready, ready, boing. Oh, we broke down there. I wonder if these work the same in that if I were to... I just added another one in there. So hopefully the force will be through several more pieces. There's a lot of springage going on, so... Ooh, I think we did it. I don't think we broke. Yes, we didn't break, but we're only in the top 11. Would be nice to try and get top 5. Let's have a look on the stress. Can we make this any better? I don't think we need that wall brace. I don't think we need that bit. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright, so I want to try and see. Can I get rid of these? Well, all of these actually. And replace with muscles. Because I know they're very slightly cheaper. The only downside is they're adding more weight. Oh, that doesn't look happy. Oh, okay. That might just have to be steel, that bottom bit. Because look how red it goes. Oh, I made it. Oh, I didn't quite make it. What broke? Up there. I'll tell you what, it might be worth just having steel down there. Because it's not that much cheaper. But it makes everything a lot lighter. Okay, I'm just going to look in here and see if there's any bits we can remove. Do any stay bright green? I could try and remove that section. So now I've got like a gap in the middle. Might be a step too far, but we will see. Nice, okay, that worked. Can I get rid of that final one? Maybe... Oh no, I can't do that one. Sweet, okay, that actually worked. That's quite surprising. Okay, but I think that's pretty good. We've sort of got a... Well, we've got a truss triangle. <laughs> I mean, ideally, I'd want to get rid of all of these bits of steel, but... I think the next bit of saving will be down here. So I think that's pretty good now. So let's see, where can we save with these springs? Ooh. I don't know if we need a muscle there, to be honest. Let's see how that does. Or oh, it worked! Yes, 40,000. Top 5%, 200th in the world. Excellent. Right, so let's have a little look in the gallery then. I'm guessing there aren't going to be too many solutions to this. It's all going to be pretty similar. Let's do the budget and we'll do the lows and then the highs. Right, so who did this one then? Bel Air. And I'm guessing you used Falling Road. Yeah. So that was by Bel Air. More like Bel End. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm not a fan of glitches. That's all. Not a fan. Right, so the next cheapest. Oh, look, tension. We haven't seen you in a... Whoa. <laughs> wow. That was unexpected. Not gonna lie. I like the old tension bit, though. Good work. Hey, look at this one. Very similar to mine. Oh, look. And that's, uh, what's his face? 
Try Jeeve. Try Geeve. Try Gev. Try Jeeve. Try Geeve. Try Jeeve. I don't know. But this guy is like top 10 in everything. I swear. So the fact we both did the old gap in the middle bit, that just shows. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, right? Is that what it shows? I don't know. Right. Page 17 has to be done. Right, so the most expensive solution. What the hell was going on back there? Oh my god, it just destroys! Oh! <laughs> okay, so if you miss that, keep an eye up the top there, at the very start. Boing! So that was like a, a cannon, and it launches this cannonball which, boosh! Lands on top, pushes him back. <laughs> That's actually an awesome solution. Fair play. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this one. Oh, we got some cables going on here. Suspension bridge. And then a proper boing, proper little brake pad down there. Nice. Right, I'm intrigued by this one up here. It looks like a jump, which is the bit I couldn't do. So let's see what happens. Oh, nice. It rolls back. Woo. Didn't know lorries could do that if they did a backwards roll. <laughs> Good to know though. Then another one, is this a jump? I'm guessing it's just a straight up and down again. Whoa, cool. Excellent, that was fun. So that was a little taster of Serenity Valley. As I said before guys, let me know. Do you want me to continue doing this world? Or do you want me to do the challenge worlds? I'm talking about in terms of YouTube now. Also let me know in the comments, do you want me to do the Twitch thing? So as I said before, I'm thinking, Carry on doing these in my usual YouTube sort of way, and then do the challenge mode on Twitch or something. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Twitch might not be for me. But if enough of you want it, I'll give it a go. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. We kind of completed Polybridge. <laughs> not quite. But uh, peace, love, and bridges. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.